feel like I'm really taking a risk attempting to put on this hat without figuring out my hair in a mirror first. So let's just hope for the best here. Okay. There we go. I went down to Castle Gar yesterday, which is a city in the West Kootenays kind of central south area. There's Castle Gar, Nelson and Trail. So whenever we have to go get a substantial amount of supplies or we have to get something specific like raw dog food, I have to drive about an hour and a half south to go and pick up those things. So I went on a little a city, Kootenay city trip yesterday. And while I was down there, I picked up some raw dog food from Blue Barn for Fern and Ivy. And then I went to the dollar store and I picked up a couple of of Christmas accessories for our patron Secret Santa gift exchange party that we had last night. So I went there with Fern and she was my little model for these little pet costumes that I found at Dollarama here and here. <laughs> and she wore it for a quick photo and then she wore it for like a quick second when we were taking a group photo last night of all of us when we were together on Zoom. I'm going to grab her and then I'll grab Ivy separately just for a quick second to show you guys how cute they look wearing these, but they're not gonna wear them for this video and they're not gonna hang out with me outside right now because it's cold and they're inside by the wood stove fire. So I just wanna give them a little opportunity to be in the video before we get going. So I'm just gonna go grab them, I'll be right back. So this is little Fern. Most of you guys probably know her or are familiar with her. I wish I could have the pugs set up nicely for these videos, but I'm filming outside today because Jesse and I are sharing the cabin and being outside is my little private space to film videos for you guys. So that's why they can't be out here with me. It's just a little too cold for them. But this was Fern's little Christmas outfit for the party last night. Oh, hi. <laughs> See if I can get her closer to the camera. Hey, is that your party outfit? Okay, isn't that cute? That's so cute, she's so unimpressed. Hey, Fern. You're a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go grab her sister, Ivy, who's likely to be a little more traumatized than Fern. Fern lets me do whatever I want to her. Ivy's a little bit less forgiving. Oh my God, are you ever cute? You're so cute. Are you? Okay, let's go get your sister. So this is Fern's twin sister, Ivy. I actually realized yesterday when I posted a photo of Fern wearing her little hat and her little collar, her Christmas collar on Instagram, that there were a bunch of people who didn't know who she was. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know she was Fern, didn't know she was Ivy. Uh, I think we have some new followers over there and they actually didn't know that there was two of them. So I'm gonna try and make a better effort to differentiate between them, but this is Ivy. She's Fern's twin sister. And uh, she doesn't like being dressed up at all. Neither of them do, but. You're a puggy. So you gotta let me do it at least a little bit. There we go. Wow. So beautiful. What a good girl you are. Yeah. We'll bring her closer to the camera so you can see. <laughs> there you go, Ivy. So festive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, honey. Yeah. Should I put you back inside? You go hang out with Jessie and your sister by the fire. And I'll get going on making this video. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's go bring her inside. There are a couple of directions I could have gone with the video I'm sitting down to film today. I was thinking about which one I should sit down to film and which one I should move forward with next on our YouTube channel. And I have an ongoing list of ideas that I have and suggestions that people have given us and kind of like informal requests for stuff that you guys wanna see. And uh, 
I'm trying to keep up with that while also simultaneously trying to continuously keep up with our story and what's going on here at the cabin and also with the things that are going on in the world of Grumble Farm off of YouTube. So I just mentioned before, but we just had our Secret Santa gift exchange. Hang on, there's like a lot of chaos happening right now. There's a one single car and one single dog. It can be challenging filming outside with the birdies and the squirrels and the dogs and the occasional traffic. We usually don't get a lot of traffic up here, but as I was saying, we had Grumble Farm's Secret Santa Global Gift Exchange party last night. So we hosted this, or I hosted this, I think two years ago. We hosted our first gift exchange party and it was really fun and we decided to do it again this year. We haven't done it for the past two seasons. I don't know why, time just went by too fast or there was too much going on and we weren't able to coordinate it and organize it and put it together, but we did pull it off this year. Last night was the party and it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I think about 20 people showed up, 19 or 20 people showed up and about half of us, a little more than half of us actually got our gifts from our secret Santas on time. So we went around the circle or we went around the square in Zoom and everybody opened up their gifts and secret Santas revealed themselves and we just had a chit chat about, I don't know, a whole bunch of stuff that kind of came up along the way. And then towards the end, we had a pretty deep conversation conversation about pet loss grief, which always just seems to come up irregardless of the topic at hand or irregardless of the reason we're getting together. It always seems to end up back on that topic. So I'm trying to figure that out. So after the party last night, the secret Santa party last night is actually the only Christmassy festive thing that I get to do this year or that I'm doing this year. So it was really, really special that I got to meet with everybody and put on this Santa hat and open some gifts with a group of people because I feel like the rest of the month is just going to blow by and it was just really special that I got to experience Christmas 2023 uh, in that way with the Grumble Farm community. So I have actually fucking O'Reilly. I think he can hear my voice and he doesn't like it. I have been receiving parcels and boxes, bags, gifts in the mail at the post office and through FedEx courier. Um, these gifts have kind of just been showing up for me over the past couple of weeks. I actually didn't know which one was from my secret Santa until I reached out to someone and managed to figure it out. So I opened the right box on the Zoom party last night. But I have three more boxes here. I know who two of them are from. And then there's one mystery box on top. I have no idea what's inside of it. That was the one that was sent by FedEx and it kind of went for a little journey around the Kootenays trying to find me. So I have it now. I don't know what's inside of these at all. It's going to be a complete surprise. And they've been sitting unopened upstairs in the office for uh, a couple of weeks now. So I opened my secret Santa gift from Samantha last night and I thought that just for the sake of coming off of sort of a, a Christmassy um, vibe, a Christmassy energy and event last night that I would sit down and record a video of me opening these gifts like live on camera uh, so that I can thank the people that sent them to me and so I can just sort of unbox them and ungift, ungift, receive them with all of you guys watching. So that is what I decided to do for today's video. So um, I made a cup of tea, but actually not putting it in a thermos and bringing it out here means that it gets cold like right away brought out a pair of scissors to open everything with. I have an extra battery in case my battery dies. These are two of the boxes. I'll just put them here. And this is the other padded mailer. So I think we'll open the padded mailer first. I know who this is from. Her name is Suzanne Smith. Her Instagram is just another Susie. She's from Australia. She's one of our top tier patrons. And she also placed a massive order on Grumble Farm's store recently that I made real about and shared about on Instagram because I was just so bewildered that we got an order that large. And then I was actually completely surprised that on top of everything that Suzanne has done for us and on top of all the ways that she shows up for, for us and for Grumble Farm, she sent me this package in the mail as a gift from Australia. So we're going to open this and see what's in here. I might not need the scissors for this actually. So sorry about the dog barking in the background. It's usually really peaceful and nice. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so it smells amazing the second I pulled it out. Oh, it smells really good. So it's in this kind of like fabric bag, Aesop. It's 
heavy. There's a card in here and it's addressed to Brandy and Jesse. Christmas wishes and there is a little puglet. Dear Brandy, Jesse, Fern, and Ivy, Merry Christmas. Just a little something for you all from Australia. Wishing you all the joy. Merry Christmas, love Susie. And there's a little note on the other side. It says, this year has been a tough one for you both. I remember in one of your posts, you mentioned the hard water at the cabin was playing havoc with your skin. I hope the softness and scents of these products add joy to your day. The shampoo for Fern and Ivy is really lovely and they can dry off in front of Jesse's fire. I hope the Christmas season and the new year bring you much joy and happiness, which you so richly deserve. Love, Susie. These cards and notes from you guys, like always just leave me speechless. This is very exciting for a couple of reasons. I have been struggling with the, the hard well water that we're hooked up to here at the cabin in our shower. We got a water softener, but it's not really doing too much. So dealing with the changes with my curly hair in combination with getting it cut shorter has just been like a trip to hell. I don't really know the solutions or like how to deal with hard water on your hair, especially for people with curly hair. I thought the water softener attachment on our shower head was really gonna help, but it hasn't really done anything. So I'm excited to see what's in here. The second reason I'm excited is because we've been thinking of doing live streams uh, on YouTube of Fern and Ivy's bath time. And uh, we have some miscellaneous like shampoo and stuff like that, but the fact that Susie just sent us some dog shampoo in here for them is perfect for that. So let's uh, open this up and see what's inside. Oh my gosh, okay. This is upside down. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of little bottles in here. Oh, wow, okay. So I'm actually not familiar with this brand. I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. Aesop. Wow. Okay. Let's start with the doggy bottle here. So this is Aesop Animal Lemon Rind Tea Tree Leaf and Spearmint Leaf. Gentle, effective, and deodorizing fur and body wash for the significant animal in your life. Very cute. This probably smells so good. Oh my God. Okay, I've never smelled dog shampoo that smells like that before. That's amazing. So this is for humans. This is a saw resurrection aromatic hand wash, mandarin rind, rosemary leaf, and cedar atlas, a superior cleansing gel for hardworking hands. <laughs> <laughs> Use whenever and wherever you require effective hand washing. This product is enhanced with botanical extracts of orange, rosemary, and lavender. That's beautiful. Oh, it smells like the forest. I spilled it. But I'm just gonna wear it as perfume. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's really beautiful. I don't know what to pick out of here next. Oh my gosh, I needed skincare so bad, like for my face. I can't fucking afford like nice skincare for my face. <laughs> so this is seriously amazing. This is um elemental facial barrier cream, uh, copper PCA, bisabolol, <laughs> and ginger root. Richly nourishing cream with sustained finish, uh, suitable for drier skin types and those exposed to cold, harsh environments. Gently massage into freshly cleansed and toned skin. Oh, this is so nice. I want to smell it. I have to, I have to smell all the things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't really have much smell. It smells clean. Let me just peel off the rest of this so I can show you. It didn't peel off very nice, but... So this is very luxurious for me. Amazing. Aesop uh, SPF 50 Protective Facial Lotion with Sage Leaf Nyan niacinamide <laughs> i recognize this word from like skincare videos but i don't know how to say it saccharide isomerate this sounds so scientific sage leaf niacinamide and saccharide isomerate high protection broad spectrum sunscreen suitable for most skin types and ideal for dry skin massage generously over the face and neck 20 minutes before sun exposure reapply at least two hours after perspiring swimming or toweling dry this is amazing we get um probably a total of 24 hours of sun in the kootenays over the winter but i can definitely use this in the springtime. <laughs> That's awesome. And then there's two more little tubes in here. This is Resurrection Aromatique Hand Balm with Mandarin Rind Rosemary Leaf Cedar Atlas. Readily absorbed moisturizing balm to effectively hydrate and soften hands. That's awesome. All the creams. I'll puncture it right now so I can try it. Oh, 
Oh, very nice. Oh, that smells so nice. Oh, that's, yeah. Very yummy. So what's this one then? This is Asa Geranium Leaf Body Balm. Okay, so that's for my hands. This is for my body. Geranium Leaf Mandarin Rind and Bergamot Rind, an exceptionally hydrating all-over body balm containing a sophisticated blend of geranium leaf and citrus extracts enhanced with skin-nourishing carrot oil and aloe. I keep hearing crashing over at the shop, and I don't know what it is. But it smells like herbal, herbally. It is very sophisticated, I have to say. Wow, I don't get to use nice skincare products like this ever. I don't use um, skincare products from like Shoppers Drug Mart <laughs> or like um, any kind of like conventional, like lower, I don't know what you would call it. I'm really conscious about the products that I put on my skin. Like I don't know much about Aesop and if they're like, I don't think they're organic or anything like that. But what I'm trying to say is that I don't um, ever get to wear really expensive, really nice, like luxury skincare or lotions ever. I usually try and grab something from the health food store or I'll live off of like some skincare that I get as a gift for Christmas from my sister <laughs> or something like that. Um, and I am like running out. I have eminence right now. So I'm using eminence, but like I literally just like scraped the last little bit off of the the uh, little tub of face cream that I have last night. So I have some Angel Angelou um, like rose water toner, but I don't have a proper skincare routine. And I just, I don't know, I, I love this. It smells so good. And I feel very lucky to be gifted with it. So Susie, thank you. There's also a whole bunch of little samples in here. This is facial exfoliant paste and a sublime replenishing night mask and another night mask and some more exfoliant paste and a night mask and some exfoliant paste. So some exfoliant paste and a night mask for my face. So that's awesome. Oh, what a beautiful gift and a beautiful card. I want to wait to open this mystery box that I got from FedEx until last because I, I honestly don't know what's in here. I'll tell you what I think might be in here. I had a brand contact me a little while ago asking if they they could send me one of their tea bottles and it's like a, they were really nice. And I, I talked about this in a previous video, but I usually only say yes to brands who want to send me free stuff in exchange for content when I want the item. And uh, the tea bottle, it's called Bota and it, it's like a self steeping tea bottle that you put the tea leaves in the bottom and then you press a button and it like steeps the tea leaves. They said that they sent me the bottle like two months ago and I got the card in my PO box down in the village of Kaslo when I went to go pick up some mail and when I brought it to the postal office worker to go back and get it for me she said they couldn't find it anywhere and they thought it was so strange how I got a, a card for it but they couldn't locate it so I was like whatever like I don't really care and uh, I think this might be it I think that's my guess because it's like in the shape of what a bottle might get shipped in so that's that's my that's my guess, but let's open this package from Ashley. This is from Ashley and Katie. And uh, Ashley and Katie are longtime patrons of ours. I've been sending them postcards for a really long time, but Ashley's actually been a part of Grumble Farms world since I was doing uh, like pug rescue pretty much. And um, we were doing meetups and gatherings in Calgary. <clears throat> and uh, I've gotten to see Katie grow up over the last few years. No idea what this is. She told me she was sending me something and I have no idea. There's a dog toy in here. <laughs> it's a couple dog toys in here. Okay, are you ready? So, got a little dog toy, a little elf, a little Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, let's put this here. Um, so we've got, there's little, like, she put little, um, like confetti in there, little little uh, puff balls. Uh, we've got some beef liver bites for the girls, some treats. This is perfect. This is exactly the type of treat that we give them. So that's lovely. We've got a, a note in here, I'll read that in a minute. Oh, and it looks like a card too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What I love about Ashley is that she actually knows me and what I like very well because she watches my the stuff that I post in our videos and so like that really closely in our content. She's been following for so long. She knows she knows what I like. So she sent me some smart sweets, peach rings, and some Lily's salted caramel chocolate, sugar-free chocolate. Um I'm gonna eat those like literally as soon as I'm done recording this video. Um I got some markers. A whole bunch of uh, super tips, Wash washable markers. 
and you spray water on them. Yep, okay, cool, cool. What is going on here? Okay, now I get it. Uh, simple one, two, three, in the forest, color and frame. It's a coloring book with little forest critters that I can color in. Very cute. I like it a lot. This is really cute. All good things are wild and free. Very cool. Okay, so like some watercolor kind of markers to color in a coloring book. Ashley, what did you do? It's a, it's an embroidered um, piece of art. I'm <laughs> covered in like these little puffballs. So anyone that's been following along for a little while knows how enamored I have become with the birds here. I am officially entering my bird nerd era and uh, I've noticed that I've been getting a few bird gifts here and there. Samantha gifted me a bird pendant, a Sellers J pendant last night as my secret Santa at the gift exchange. And um, I am fully here for this. So this says a bird does not sing because it has answers. Oh, wait, sorry. A bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. And it's a cardinal and a blue jay. That's beautiful. I'm gonna read these notes. Brandy. A few days ago, I saw this embroidered bird photo in a thrift store and immediately thought of you. I had to buy it. Blue for Jonas and red for Chloe. Oh my god, how did I not even notice that? For some reason, I, I always notice blue. It's at the forefront of my mind, so blue as a color um, is, is very much a symbol uh, or a sign that keeps me connected to Jonas, but, and I never forget that red is for Chloe, of course, but when I see them together, it sometimes takes me a little while to realize that it's like a Jonas and Chloe thing, like in tandem together. That's really cute. Okay, let's finish this. I had to buy a blue for Jonas, blue jay, red for Chloe, red cardinal, and although they are not Stellar's jays, I feel like they also connect to your recent relationship with the birds at your cabin. The Stellar's jays and blue jays are so similar in their behavior and in their attitude and in their calls and stuff like that. I feel like they're so similar. A bird does not sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. You actually have no idea how well timed this is regarding not having answers. So this is probably something I'm going to be meditating on for the rest of the day. So Ashley, thank you for intuitively following your intuition and sending this to me. It means more than you know. Christmas card. Uh, Merry Christmas, Ernest, Ashley, Katie, and Homer. By the way, if you guys are looking to follow a pug that reminds me of Jonas, you should definitely go follow Homer the pug. This is Ashley and her family. And Homer. Uh, for someone positively wonderful. Oh, is that ever sweet? She did paw prints with Homer, but they're like in really cute Christmas colors. It's like a blend of red and green with um, silver glitter. This is really sweet. I love that. Sending warm and fuzzy holiday wishes to you, to Brandy, Jesse, Fern, and Ivy, and always Jonas. Can't wait to visit you at your little cabin in the woods someday. Merry Christmas, Ashley, Katie, and Homer. Ashley came to visit us last year and she actually had to see our shitty little apartment that we were living in. So I can't wait for her to come back and we can actually show her the cabin, <laughs> which I'm a lot more proud to bring people into. I just wanna mention something. I've gotten three other Christmas cards from people over the past couple of weeks. And the first one I got when I opened it and I read it, I was standing in line at the post office waiting to hand handed my card to get something that had been shipped to me. And when I opened it, it said to Brandy, Jesse, Fern, and Ivy, and I instantly, like instinctually just shut it closed and started crying. I've gotten two cards since then, and they all said to Jesse, Brandy, Fern, and Ivy. I obviously, it was just, I wasn't expecting to feel that way when I read that Jonas wasn't included for the first time this year after 12 Christmases together. So to read to Brandy, Jesse, Fern, and Ivy, and always Jonas, um, means a lot. <laughs> and I love these paw prints. I think they're so sweet. I spent years and years and years and years and years doing this with Jonas. I actually have his very last one because we did it. Brandy, don't cry. I cried enough in my last video. I did this so much with Jonas and I have his very last paw print that we ever did. I kept it for myself. It was his last postcard that he ever signed. I kept it in my memory box. So I love that you're doing this too. And I really like how the green and red turned out. And Homer reminds me so much of Jonas. I think they've got some genetic connection there. Uh, for sure. Um, so, yay. Oh, Ashley, um, this 
was amazing. This is amazing and so thoughtful and I, I love it. I love everything and I love you and Katie and your family and I'm just so grateful to have you here. So thank you. Thank you. I'm starting to get cold. So <laughs> we're going to open this and then I'll wrap it up and let you guys go. Hopefully this will be a shorter video for you guys today. There's no hint whatsoever on this box as to what this could be or who it could be from. It says nothing. But let's see if I was correct in thinking that it's a tea bottle. And if it is, then I have to create a piece of content about it. <laughs> it's not a tea bottle. That tea bottle just went missing into the ether. Why is there no information about who this was from? There's not even a note in here. The Cottage Greenhouse Carrot and Neroli Moisture Rich Shower and uh, Shower Oil and Body Wash, which is beautiful. Must smell all the things. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, little sample thing of perfume. This is Tokyo Milk Dark Perfume. Tainted Love. <laughs> okay. And then uh, this matches the body oil, body wash, the Cottage Greenhouse Carrot and Neroli Rich Shea Butter Hand Cream. Okay, I have so many creams for the hard water. <laughs> it's wreaking havoc on my hair and my skin. I can't open this because I need a, there's no pokey thing on this lid. And I can't open it to smell it, but that was a very nice matching little gift from the cottage greenhouse. These two bath products. I feel like some self-care is in order here with all of these things, like a kind of at-home spa day. <laughs> um, thank you, whoever sent that. I'll have to maybe do some digging. It says Burwell Industries in Richmond, BC, which is a, a port for where things get shipped here. Maybe if I open up the packing slip, there might be something. I, I, I'm not sure. I really don't know. And it was sent FedEx, which people don't usually send FedEx or courier because it's so expensive. I usually just get things by UPS or, or sorry, USPS or Canada Post. So I'm like really confused right now, but either way, thank you. If you're watching this, it has been received and will be lovingly used. So I appreciate that. It's starting to get pretty cold out here. So I sort of just want to wrap up this, um, this video before my hands fall off. I sort of mentioned this at the beginning, but there were a couple of ideas um, for which video I was going to film today, and I think those videos are kind of coming down the pipeline. Jesse and I are, are having a bit of a hard time um, just in continuation of our video that we shared about uh, struggling with the cost of living and just the immense pressure of um, just bills and, and work and life and, and living in the world and things like that. So it's been a bit of a bummer day in that regard. Um, I actually didn't really want to come on here and create this video after the morning we had, but I did because I was feeling in a really good mood from last night or I was really grateful for last night and meeting um, with our patrons and the little party we had. So I thought today would be, should be a gift opening day to sort of bring more of that gratitude into my life and to keep just a, a mindset of gratitude going. We had a circle share or like a Zoom square share last night about what we were each grateful for coming up towards the end of the year. And a lot of people's answers were that they were grateful that they had decided to not really do Christmas this year, which is kind of, oh, kind of a weird theme I saw going on with everyone, but everyone was just grateful that they didn't have to deal with the pressure of Christmas either because they cho were choosing not to, or they just couldn't afford Christmas this year. So they were just doing um, kind of like more, making more more low key decisions and not doing big, huge dinners or big, huge gift exchanges with their families and stuff like that. So I feel like we're probably not the only ones who aren't having the kind of Christmas that we might've had in the past, but this is just really special to me receiving these gifts in the mail from you guys. And then meeting up with a few of you last night at our party is really, really special for me because that pretty much makes up the entirety of my Christmas this year. So thank you for that. And um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna wrap this up by I, there's people. There's people now. I hate filming outside. <laughs> Even here, it's too people-y. I'm just gonna wait for them to pass. Okay, we're back. I feel like this isn't gonna be the great, <laughs> like the greatest video. <laughs> There's been so many interruptions. Anyways, I just wanna wrap this up by letting you guys know, once again, if you feel like or are in a position or able to support Jesse and I in the Pugs and Grimble Farm, I'm going to leave pretty much all available avenues for you to do that below. Number one thing you can probably do is join our Patreon community. The second thing you can do is donate via our Ko-Fi channel that I set up. We've been having a lot of fun with that one, actually. It's been great. There's been some donations coming through. We have one monthly recurring donation coming through from Jen. And 
and uh, people have been leaving some really nice comments and buying us lots of coffees over there. So uh, I'll leave the link for our Ko-Fi down below if you wanted to contribute something to us there. I'm going to ask everyone to maybe not send us any more gifts. I was originally sharing our Amazon wish list, but the reality of it is, is that we don't need any stuff right now. Like we really, really don't. We're at a point where we really just need to work on Grimble Farm as a business and we're, we're happily accepting um, donations and, and contributions and tips from people in exchange for our content and our, for our, our videos and stuff like that. We love bringing people on board to our Patreon community and having them be a part of that as an offering that we are creating and, and um, offering space for people and for community to be together and for also just to access to behind the scenes stuff and all that that sort of thing. But things like Amazon wish lists and sending gifts and, and stuff like that, we're not actually in need of anything like that right now. We're more just looking to cover the basic cost of living and um, to get our shit in order and to keep our roof over our heads and stuff like that. So Ko-Fi and Patreon are probably your best bets. Of course, there's Grumble Farms online store. We have some merch up there. I don't think I have any calendars left, but there is some Joni stickers and there is some Grumble Farm merch and stuff like that that you can buy to wear. And we make a little bit of money off of that. So that's a really good way or like another... It's not the best way, but it's it's another way to support us if you're looking to have some Grumble Farm swag in your life. And yeah, that's kind of all I can think of right now. Jesse and I are, are try or at least I'm trying to think of um, what's you know coming up for Grumble Farm in the new year. We're just kind of trucking along and trying to get through the rest of December with the highest of holiday spirits that we can muster. And uh, this definitely helps getting these wonderful, thoughtful, kind gifts from everybody and um, just being in community with you guys and um, connecting with you guys and talking with you guys and being with you all uh, through this time of the year has been really helpful for me. I actually don't know what I would do without you. So um, as always, I love you and um, I will see you in the next video. As usual, I don't know which one it's going to be, but uh, I'll try and put something together in the next couple days and I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you there. Bye guys and Merry Christmas.